Hello everyone, my name is Pratik Marwa. Welcome to my life page. Before I move forward, I'd like to introduce myself. I completed my schooling from St. Joseph's College, Allahabad. And just after school, when most people decide to do an engineering program, to do uh, mass communication, to do uh, medicine, I decided to do something else. I wanted to make a mark since the time I got myself on my feet and not taking any money from my parents. This was in my mind. I wanted to enjoy life. I wanted to get everything which I wanted for my on my own money. So what happened? I enrolled myself with, into Delhi University. And just after, while doing my graduation course, I started working on network marketing and selling insurance plans, whichever could support my life, my personality, my uh, lifestyle, everything that could support me. I started working for that. I augmenter is a part of it. I augmenter personally, if you see uh, as the name it suggests, I is personal, that is me. Augment is increasing your skills and mentor is providing you a personalized mentor to enhance your skills. If you all, if you add these three words together, it becomes I augmenter. What is it about? We are solving a problem here. The problem is that whenever, like me, I came from Allahabad and when I came to Delhi, and I met new people, new offices, new corporate people. When I met them, I realized that they pointed out mistakes in me. The exposure that we called, I got from the people who pointed out mistakes that this is not the way to dress, this is not the way to talk and you should change yourself. I actually learned more and I changed my personality accordingly. This is exactly what iAugmenter does. The first and foremost thing you need and need this you can underline it you need to have the knowledge of the industry you're in okay the first and foremost because as i gave you an example just before this i ventured into a real estate startup and i didn't have a single knowledge about real estate how the home construction is done what is the material involved what how do we how how is an electrification done i didn't know anything and i started selling an electrical product that was the reason, that was the major reason why my startup bombed. That the first and the foremost, which everybody professes, you should read a lot. Whatever is happening in the world, you should know about it. Because at the end of the day, if you're looking at having an educational startup, you need to have the best of education yourself. And I'm not talking about books, I'm not talking about degrees, I'm only talking about what is happening around the world. You should know about it. The biggest positive is that you're or your own boss. I had been working a lot in multiple companies, but I always had a boss with me. The best part and the best part is that your own your you are your own boss. And this has been faced by everybody is finding the right team. You cannot build the entire country on your own or you cannot build the entire building on your own. You need people. And the best of people are actually very scarce in this country, in this part of the country especially. I'm not a morning person. I look after the business function of the company. I generally wake up at 9 or 9.30 in the morning and get ready after breakfast and reach office by 10.30. Uh, the other co-founders reach a little early, but I make sure that I have a long day ahead of me just because I reach late, but I come back late from the office. So when I go to the office, I generally have, uh, I have, I see my mails, I speak to the, uh, the technology guys on what is the latest update in the technology and what is happening on the previous task given to them. Then uh, just by lunchtime, I make sure for the next two to three hours, I have calls with my clients, with the new uh, or follow-up calls with the existing people that we are talking to to sell our uh, products with. Uh, typically, my day ends with the review meetings with uh, the salespeople, then talking to uh, the co-founders generally on what is happening next in the next one week or 10 days, what is the update on what we are doing and uh, certain business meetings that we do internally to make sure that our company is going really well. So my day generally ends by 7, 7.30 where I speak to all the other uh, technology guys and the sales teams on what is the next step uh, in the coming week. So 
uh, typically 10:30 to 7:30 is uh, the day that i work in the end i would just say i hope i have given you a balanced view on the education startups what are the positives what are the challenges what you should know about uh, but just at the end of everything i'll just share uh, my advice to anybody when who is ever going to start a startup my advice to you is just don't jump in think about what you're trying to do think of the future think of yourself in the next 3 years and what you are good at and what you know about just don't randomly insert yourself because your peer or your friend or anybody else is going for a startup just be who you are and the world will follow you thank you